Hi, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. This time I've got three tips to make meetings easier to catch up with using Microsoft Teams and Copilot. I'm going to use Copilot to review what was said in the meeting, who said it and when. Then it's going to generate my meeting notes for me and show me some different perspectives on the topics that were discussed. I'm going to do all that in no time at all using Copilot from Microsoft 365. So let's take a look and see how it works. Now, my first tip is to use the recap to catch up on what was discussed in a meeting you missed or need to review afterwards. So I had a meeting with my teammate, Toby, and we recorded it. And now I want to review what happened so I can get to it through the chat app here. And you've probably seen the recap tab in Teams already. But when you have Copilot for Microsoft 365, some new features light up. Now, you can see along the top of the recap window, I have three parts. And that's because we stopped and started the video recording three times during the meeting. If I page through them, I have a different view for each recording. And that's because Copilot is using the video and the transcript to understand what went on in the meeting. Just below the video here, Copilot has added a speakers feature. This shows me a timeline of everything that was said during the meeting. The things that Toby said are in blue and the things I said are red. So I can click on the red parts of the timeline where I spoke and it will take me to the, that part of the video. And then I can just play it. It gives me a really good idea of who did all the talking and I can easily review what was said. The next button I have here is topics. Copilot can read the transcript of each video and pick out all the topics that were discussed. It gives me a list here for each of the recordings. I can click on the topic and it will take me to that part of the video where we discussed it. And notice each topic has a color and I can also choose the color on the timeline to get to the topic. Copilot has also worked out how to split this video into chapters. So if I was trying to work out which bits of the video I want to review, I could review the chapters to jump to the part that I was interested in. So you can see that the recap feature is a great way to review the meeting, especially if you didn't join in and you wanted to find out what was discussed. Next tip, Copilot can create meeting notes for us. So no one likes taking meeting notes. So this feature is amazing. So still on the recap page, you can see there's an AI note section and that feature reads the transcript and presents it back as notes. So the notes have headings describing what was said in a short paragraph and the headings are expandable. So you can drill in to the different sections of the discussion and then you can see them as bullet points for more detail. Now, not only that, but if you click on any of these, it will take you to that part of the video. So AI notes also figures out what actions it thinks were discussed. So down at the bottom here, it has a section called follow up tasks. And here it tries to show you what you should do next and who should do it. And finally, you can copy these notes here so you can put them all into the notes section in the Teams meeting for sharing or you could paste them into an email or a chat. So the notes feature is a great way to catch up with what was said if you missed the meeting or if you're in charge of sharing the meeting notes afterwards. The next tip is to help you understand how people felt about the discussion. So Copilot can show us different perspectives it found in the video transcripts. This is basically the agreements and disagreements that were had with the topics that were discussed. So to get the perspectives, we're going to need to prompt Copilot. So I'm going to pull the Copilot panel out in Teams by choosing this button. So now I can see it down the right hand side. I can type in my prompt and I'm going to ask Copilot to list different perspectives by topic. So it's come back and listed two different topics it found where we agreed and disagreed. For example, this one here is where we were trying to decide on a suitable scenario for the course we're creating. 
It shows me that we both agreed that our course should be fun and engaging. And this little number here is the citation. So if I roll over it, it will show me where in the transcript Copilot found that insight and who said it. But we didn't agree on the type of scenarios for the course. And it tells me what I said and what Toby's ideas were and why we disagreed. So you can see that this is a great way to remind me where the sticking points in our conversation were. And now I can follow up on those for a further chat to see if we can figure it out. Okay, there you have three tips to give you insights into your meeting using Copilot for Microsoft 365 in Teams. We saw how to review what was discussed in a meeting, who spoke and when. We saw how it can generate meeting notes and how it can capture different perspectives. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.